ein bisschen gut durchgekommen, aber natürlich mit den Schwierigkeiten, die für alle Firmen gegolten haben. Also für die Mitarbeiter war es ein sehr schwieriges oder schwierige Jahre. We got through all right, but of course with the difficulties that also apply to all other companies. They were difficult years for the employees and the inflation that then caught up with us affected us all here, employees and company alike. And towards the end of last year, our sales also began to decline slightly. That was to be expected, so we have been able to handle it quite well. It's all challenging, but we all still enjoy it. The fact that this is really the case is shown by the wonderful novelties coming in all sizes. We southerners have wandered to the north and landed on a small island. There is a beautiful farm with clinker bricks built not only standard but in different directions, just as the farms were built in those days. One of our highlights in this year's program. The whole house with thatch roof was already weathered at the factory. The windmill Bertha fits perfectly on the island. A lighthouse is a must-have as well. Now let's move on to the south. Herr Freilassing haben wir quasi wieder ein bisschen aus dem Dornröschenschlaf geholt. We brought Freilassing back from its slumber, so to speak. That made sense. We inherited the super beautiful ensemble from the Polar Company and have now reissued it, again in the original colors. It comes completely weathered and it offers the possibility to build up the whole great ensemble altogether, with one small caveat. Mit einem kleinen Wermutstropfen. Because the molds and tools for the social building are unfortunately no longer usable. The five stand locomotive shed is expandable and features 7.5 degree grading. Also part of the ensemble is the former Signal Tower 1 in Freilassing, with a gable roof and brick round arches. The three car shed is almost 70 centimeters long. All gates are movable and you can drive through the building. We are now coming to era 6. A great novelty this year is a Weber house in cooperation with the Weber company. They manufacture prefabricated houses and we have taken one of the variants that are available as a model. It's a beautiful white house with a hip roof. The two-story building with a balcony is also impressive for its interior design. Now let's move on to a cool train station. The railroad is a must-have for us, so we are going to Klein Engstingen. The standard design station can be used from eras 1 to 6 and adapted to specific times, possibly repainted or given a little patina. And another product group is just as indispensable at Falla. It's a real new mold for the fair. People are always asking where there will be something else added for the fair. The answer is yes, and there will still be large models as well. The carousel with swing and loops guarantees boundless fun. Engage is a matter of the heart for me. This year we have again some color variants and something special around house. There is BW design material to go with it, like the heating plants and a nice little water tower. And we have a mustard mill, which classically fits very well in our region and now comes in a slightly different guise. A stop with a covered platform hall and two nice village houses are also among the novelties. For Z or Z gauge, this year we have an industrial building, a classicist building striking in form yet restrained in color. It is created from a laser cut kit. The tall transom windows and brick windows surrounds are striking. Of course, garden railroaders will also find something new, like the RHB station Lavin or this forester's hut. It can be used in many places, just like the powered level crossing. More info at faller.de